Wait a minute, wait a minute. Martin Luther King promoted discrimination? Yes, just not according to your skin color. I did, you, but, let's do this. What is the idea of discrimination? I wanna show you uh, a famous man here, Martin Luther King Jr., who said in his I Have a Dream speech, talked about discrimination, and actually he said, it's okay to discriminate. No, he fucking didn't, you dissembling selfish twit. He said this, I have a dream that my four little children will one day be able to live in a nation where they'll not be judged by the color of their skin, but they will be judged. They will be discriminated against according to the content of their character. Wrong, Chester. This is the first place where you went off the rails. Because judging somebody is merely an evaluation of their character, of who and what they are. But discrimination is acting on that judgment. And not just acting on it, but doing so in a negative, exclusory way. That's discrimination. In other words, it doesn't matter what your skin color is. It matters what's inside of your heart. Blood. And if your heart is full of corruption or sin or immorality, in this case, homosexuality. Now hold on just a second there, Skippy. Who the fuck are you to say that homosexuality is immoral or corrupt and sin doesn't even exist, but still, who the fuck are you to say that, huh? I mean, okay, you have a book that makes that claim, but so what? Why should I trust your book? Give me evidence that anything in there is anything other than a fairy tale, hmm? And who does homosexuality actually hurt? It certainly doesn't hurt the homosexuals. Most of us actually really enjoy it. We like being who and what we are. Does it hurt anyone around us? Not so I've noticed. Won't somebody please think of the children? Now, how did I know that's where you were gonna go next? But it doesn't even matter, because homosexuals can raise perfectly healthy, well-adjusted, straight or gay children. That's all there is to it. And homosexuality is not something you teach. It's something you either are or you aren't, like being left-handed or having brown eyes. It's inborn, it's who and what you are. It's your inner nature, like it or not. So children are not harmed by homosexuality. And it seems to me that the only people who are hurt hurt by homosexuality is you homophobes who can't stand the thought and go, ew, every time you think about it then you should be discriminated against. No, the only people who should be discriminated against are the ones who are behaving like selfish wank stains and harming other people thereby. You know, like blinkered pig ignorant chowderheads who think that the world belongs to them and that everyone else should conform to their standard, to their way of life. Sound familiar? When these confusing statutes now try to redefine discrimination, they're only confusing to you because you can't understand why other people don't hate what you hate. And say that you can no longer discriminate against character. I don't care about someone's character. Their inner thoughts can be the most disgusting, foul, depraved thing they like, as long as they don't act on them. We discriminate against behavior, not character. That the, anyone who discriminates against character is guilty of discrimination and therefore ought to be discriminated against they're actually saying Martin Luther King himself ought to face, uh, ought to be punished for his views. They're saying nothing of the kind. You've twisted Dr. King's words to suit your own selfish ends. That's dishonest and says a lot about your character. And that's not right. Took the words right out of my mouth there, Sparky. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. And please visit my Sazzle store, where you'll find all kinds of Bionic Dance merchandise. If you don't like what I'm saying, there's a good chance you're the reason I'm saying it.